Hey bitches, um, what's up? So, I have not filmed in a while. Finals, to be honest, finals, you know, shit. Also, hi, welcome back, and thanks for watching also. I mean, a little what I got for Christmas is I got this wig. It is a, um, Donald of Hair human wig. Human wig? Human hair wig. Um, it is 24 inches, it's down to my ass. I came in the 613 blonde, but then, you know, I wanted one that looked exactly like my hair, so I went into the shower yesterday, and I took this bitch in with me, and, you know, I just did what I did with my hair. And, like, when I got this, this was, like, super yellow, but then, like, just like my hair, there are some parts where it's more platinum blonde than... It's more platinum blonde than other areas, so, like... It's kind of like a mix. It's literally like my hair. Like, you see this? Like, right here? Like, it's super, like, icy, kind of purpley blonde. And then, like, it's kind of yellow right here. But, like, that's literally my hair. So, I'm kind of not really mad about it. But I got this yesterday. It was honestly what an upgrade. It's really soft. I'll leave everything um, down in the description if you want to get it. But anyway, I also got this phone case. I've had, this is like the only, this is like my third Wildflower um, phone case. These are honestly one of the best phone cases ever and they're super cute. And I've had two other ones but they looked really bad with my phone. But I think this one looks like okay with my phone. And also it's super cute and then I just got 200 bucks. And that's really all I got for fucking Christmas, you know. Nothing special. Anyway, so, let's get that. Okay, now I, oh my god, I feel like I look super fucking ugly. Whatever. Okay, so let's just start with the makeup. Alright, so I'm going with my James Charles Morphe palette. Yeah, this is like my second time using it. The first time I used it, it will be in a video coming soon. It's like a blue winter look. I filmed it a couple weeks ago, but then I just didn't edit it. And now it's New Year's and it's too late to post that, so it's still winter in January, so you know. I'm going with this shade right here called Punch Me, and I'm going to go in with Punch Me. It's a really nice transition shade for this look that I'm going to do, and I'm just going to go in with a Morphe 518 brush. And also I primed my lids with, I can, I, I carved out my brows with this, blended it out a little bit, and then I went in with my MAC um, Paint Pot. I usually like never use this stuff, but since like James said like you probably should, I was like, okay, fuck, so now I'm using it. So, I'm going to go in with this shade, and I'm just going to put that right into my crease as a transition shade, just so we can start off the eye. So yeah, this palette is super, it's really pigmented. Um, I've used not that many shades, I've only really dipped into this palette like a couple times. I've used the white, which is pretty good. I've used... <clears throat> Most of the blue shades, because I did a blue look, that's the one I'm talking about that's going to come to my channel soon. Um, which case, that shit turned out fucking amazing, let me just say that. The blues are really good. I did a pink look. Didn't, the, also, the pink really didn't stain my eyes that much. So, uh, anyway. So, how was everyone's Christmas? Or holiday season? How was everyone's holiday season? I should probably say that, because not everyone celebrates Christmas, but I do. I'm going to go with the shade... T right there and on a more 514 brush actually and I'm gonna take that and blend it into my crease as well but on not like blend it out as much as I did with um punch me just you know like right there just so the crease has the crease just so the crease has a little bit more definition And I'm also, yeah, sorry. I'm also gonna be going back in with the 518 brush and just blending everything out. And I'm gonna be blending it out like this just cause we're doing a like cat eye. Yeah, we're doing a cat eye. So I'm gonna keep it in the crease, but I'm also going to blend it out towards my like temples. So now I'm going with No Beans. It's kind of a purpley, a purpley brown kind of color. And I'm just gonna go in with No Beans on the same 514 brush. And I'm just going to focus that mostly just like here, like all right here. Not really gonna blend it out that much. 
All right, now I'm going with some black. So I'm going with the black shade called Spooky in the palette. And I'm gonna take this on a little pencil brush. And I'm gonna place this. I'm gonna pat it down and like place it where I want it to go. And then get the same brush right here, the 514 brush. And I'm gonna like blend it out. I'm gonna blend it into the crease and blend it out just a little bit, just like that. Also another really cool thing about this wig is that you can literally like, if you glue it down and keep this whole like steady, you can run your fingers through it. So I'm taking more of a spooky, as I said, placing it down where I want it to be. And once it's placed down there, Blend it out. I'm going back in with the 518, blend the edges, add some more if you want some more, and then just keep on going back and forth and blending, applying, blending, applying, blending, and eventually the makeup will turn out how you want it to be. All right, so now that the eyes are completed, it was a really, this is kind of like a little, this is mm, kind of, this is a really simple eye makeup look. It's just like a couple colors and then a base, but it's still really pretty. Okay, so now that that part of the eyes is it, eyes, now that that part is done, we are going to move in and cut the crease out. And I'm just going to use my concealer and just a little brush. Where the fuck is my concealer brush? All right, I'm gonna do that and I'm just going to cut the crease so we can lay down some shimmer shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, so if you ever use too much concealer, either take like a blender or a brush this is my concealer brush and just like tap it off because if you have weight if you have too much concealer on your lid the shadow will not stick and it will just like be there and it'll be like okay what the fuck so and it won't work and then you'll just be like whoa like what did i do wrong so if you have too much concealer just take that off with your beauty blender a sponge Really take it off with anything because your shadows won't stick and you're gonna look stupid and you're just gonna be like, all right, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? And then you're gonna have to take off your whole ass eye makeup and then it's just, you know, it just doesn't work. So if you have too much concealer, take it off. Well, no, blend it off, I guess is what I would say. All right, so in the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dust Palette, I'm going to take Nef this shade, the gold shade, and I'm gonna take that on my finger and uh, pop that on my lid. And now, we're going to take some of this heavy metal glitter liner from Urban Decay. It is in Midnight Cowboy, it's like a gold. And I'm going to place some of that on the lid, right on top of that shadow, just so there's a little bit more, you know, bling. All right, so now I'm gonna let this dry, pop on some mascara and some lashes. I just don't wanna film that because that's a fucking waste of time. And yeah, I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's just fucking get this face done because I have food waiting for me and I'm hungry. So let's do this. I'm gonna take this foundation right here. This is the CoverGirl, no, Maybelline 24 hour foundation. My eyes are starting to water up again and stuff. Okay, so now that powder is on, face is almost done, like the foundation and concealer is done. We're looking okay, so now we're going to move on to some bronzing. So I'm going to take this random brush that I have just for bronzing, and I'm going to take my Butter Bronzer. It's inside an e.l.f. Duo Fiber brush. Well, how most of you bitches know it, it's called a stipple brush. And I'm going to take some of that and just begin bronzing up the face. Oops, I'm gonna go in with this pot right here. This is the Anastasia shade on light, light to medium, and I'm gonna use the banana shade on this Morphe E48 brush, and I'm gonna use some of this. 
and put this right on my under eye just to brighten everything back up um low-key like not really but kind of like cook the bake and I'm also with this going to carve out the cheekbones okay I'm gonna take some Milani Luminoso blush and this come on oh bitch okay and on this Morphe M 310 brush it's a fan brush I know fuck you just don't worry about it it really gets like right here <laughs> into this area and I'm just gonna take some of the blush Pop it right there. I don't want too much. Just because I don't really like that much blush. And then... Oh, we should probably do the under eyes. Okay, let me do the under eyes. I'm basically... I think... Mm, this. I don't want to go back in... I already have this palette right here. And the shade Oud from the Desert Dust palette is like that kind of same brown color. So I'm going to take some of that on this 432 brush from Morphe. And hit that lower lash line. Just smoke that out. And then I'm going to take some of Amber right here and just a little bit of white sand on just uh, on this random brush. And I'm just going to kind of blend that shadow out. And now I'm just blending it out with some brush just so there's... Oh, fucking hell, bro. There is... I didn't. I guess I didn't wash this brush because there's pink on this. Fuck up. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Let's just leave it at this because I don't want to fuck up anymore. And then I'm just going to take some white eyeliner. This is from ColourPop. And I'm going to take that and put that uh, on my waterline. Okay, I'm gonna put that on my waterline. I don't think I spoke English when I said that. The under eyes are definitely not a warm kind of color, but it's kind of a mix of like Christmas and New Year's, you know? So, what do we have to do now? Mascara. 